So I just had a very nice hair pampering session. Um, let's see. I haven't had a perm in about a month now. Yeah, a little bit over a month. So, I did all my deep conditioning treatment. Well, I put so much crap in my hair, first of all. I washed my hair with the olive oil, organic olive oil shampoo. And then, when I was done with that, I put in some of this olive oil um, replenishing conditioner. And it's the same type that comes with this. is the perm I use. So... I put this in my hair and then I left it on for like an hour with a plastic cap with no heat. And then when I was done with that, I put in some of this hair mayonnaise after I rinsed out the other conditioner. I put in some of this hair mayonnaise and I sat on the dryer for 15 minutes. And then finally, you know, I let it sit for a little while, five minutes, I mushed it all in there. And when I was done, I rinsed that out. I put a lot of crap in my hair. <laughs> um, I used some of this Dew Girl Leave-In Girl Treatment, and I just kind of sprinkled it all over my hair and in my ends and whatnot. I think I'm just pretty much using whatever I have around so that I can baby my hair. And what else did I do? I put in some of this olive oil moisturizer. It's extra rich cream for thirsty hair, dry, thirsty hair, as mine often is. And also, oh, I also put in some of this <laughs> hair polisher, the Fantasia, Icy, whatever, for color treated or chemically damaged hair. And I just like put a little bit of that and focused on the ends and gotten the roots a little bit. And last but not least, I also put some oil, some Dudley's Scalp Special, mm. <laughs> and it smells minty. Oh, the hair mayonnaise smells really good, by the way. I know mayonnaise kind of nasty. I personally don't like mayonnaise on my bread. No, it's just, ugh. I, I don't really like it. I'm not a fan. But anyway, so as I was combing through, I noticed my new growth. And I'm actually kind of excited about my new growth. Look at it. Look at my little, little baby hairs coming out. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know. I just have like my little curly hairs coming out. So... I think I can survive, you know, because I was reading, when I was reading all this stuff about people who transitioned from relaxed to natural hair, everyone's chopping off their hair left and right and I don't know it's not really something that I was that interested in doing but as I said before it's just that I really don't care sometimes it's a hassle to have to worry about my next relaxer or whatever and I would like my hair to grow I'd like somewhat of what it used to be like before I went to college and pretty much ruined my hair <laughs> so um, I'm gonna keep trying to baby my hair and go back and look at some more of D Princess 28's advice. <laughs> and yeah, I still need a job, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, all right, later. Hi, I'm back again. So, I realized that in most of my YouTube videos, if not all of them, my hair has been looking a hot mess. <laughs> so, <coughs> Today, after I did all of my uh, conditioning and whatnot, I let my hair air dry, and then I flat ironed with my hair styler. Yes, yes, I straightened my hair with my hair styler. <laughs> all right, yeah. So I don't know. I think so far. All the good treatment is working because usually when I comb my hair, I end up with like lots and lots of hair all over myself and in the sink. And it has it wasn't that bad today. I mean, I have a few, but oh well. But yeah, 
also, now this is where I'm at so far. Ooh. See that? Yeah. And I hope to be in a much, much better place by Christmas. Maybe, you know, my Christmas present to myself. Take care of myself. <laughs> and... Did I have something else to say? I don't know. But I think I'm getting a white head. I don't like that. I think it's because sometimes when I style my hair, like, I wipe stuff off my face a lot. And then I touch my face with all this grease and stuff. And it's not good. So, don't do that. Alright, alright. Let me stop being a fool. Um... Yeah, so, I don't know. I got to go fold some clothes and figure out where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to make it all fit in my room somehow. Alright. Oh yeah, and I also put some of this olive oil sheen spray at the top so that my hair would sit because sometimes it refuses to listen to me and it has a mind of its own. So, I did that and... I don't know if I'm going to leave this here because it's probably not going to behave, but that's it. We always start at midnight.